I will start with the square background and I will press Ctrl A on a Windows or Command A on a Mac to select the whole canvas, go here with the generative fill and type cloud. And wait for a few moments for Photoshop to generate this and now it's a mystery. We have no idea what kind of cloud will Photoshop present to us, hopefully the one that we need, so let's see. Okay, we have three different clouds, this one, this one and this one. And I really love this one and I will use this one for the brush, but in case you don't like any of these, you can always go and press generate again and wait again a few moments for new three iteration of clouds and maybe use something of that or go with another iteration and do something like that. So here I could use this one with some modifications. This one is cool for some specific brushes, but for us, we will go with the first one. So in order to use this, you see this, this have some strange icon here. So in order to use it, we need to right click and rasterize layer. And now it's instead of a generative layer, it's a regular layer. And now the fun begins. First, let's desaturate it. Shift Control U on Windows or Shift Command U on a Mac, make it black and white and now Control or Command I to invert it. And this is what we want. We want our cloud to be black and the background to be white in order to turn it into a brush. Now we will use levels, image adjustment levels or Control or Command L, the shortcut. And I want to boost the white, so I want my background to be 100% white, so something like that, and the cloud to be dark. So this will be opaque, 100% opaque, and this will be transparent. And I want, I don't want to make the whole cl cloud completely opaque. It's cool to have it semi-transparent, so no problem with that. But I want to make sure that the background is white. Okay, now that I'm ready, I will press OK. And now we can leave it like this with the harsh edges, if we want to create really cool brush for some trails, some smoke trails, etc., or we can soften the edges by using a regular brush, soft brush and just white color and just maybe 100% opacity and soften like, like this, soften it. So I will show you both versions, what you can get with this. In order to turn it into brush, just go to edit, define brush preset, name it smoke brush number one and press OK and you're done. Now I will hide this invert the background, control command I, just to have a black background, it's easier to see the smoke on black. So this is it, and you can see how it looks. But in order to look great, we need to go to brush properties right here. If you don't see it, you can go to windows and just choose uh, brush settings right here. So I just turn it off. Okay, and go with the shape dynamics, make sure the size jitter to be to 100%, control off, and angle to 100%. So this means that every uh, time the Photoshop draws this brush, it will be different angle. We want that and also different size. Then go to scattering and we can scatter it a lot like this, like a lot. See what we have here. Crazy, but we don't want that. We just want a little bit of scattering, maybe around 20 or so percent and want transfer. Make sure that control is off and opacity jitter is optional. You can go with whatever you want around 40, 50, whatever. And this is it. We have our brush. So let's make it smaller. And this is really cool for some smoke trails, maybe some rocket, maybe whatever. And this is really cool. You can also play with these settings right here and make the opacity different, make the size different, make the scattering different, etc. And have different kind of smoke trails, different kind of effects. When you're ready, when you're when you tweak this, however you think it's cool, you can go right here and say new brush preset and just rename it and include tool settings and that's it. Press OK and you will always have with these settings that you just saved, which is amazing. OK, now that we know that, let's go back here to this one. And instead of having it like that, let's make it more soft. Let, let me show you what you will have then. So I just want to soften these edges a little bit around. I don't want to be so harsh and so opaque, a little bit transparent and soft like that. And also I can go with a filter and blur it a little bit. Filter, blur, come on, filter, blur and Gaussian blur and just blur this something like, like this probably, maybe a little bit less, seven or so is okay, six. And now turn this into a brush. So again, edit, define brush preset and just name it smoke brush number two, for example, press OK. And now let's go with a black background, create a new layer where we will draw it. And we will have a little bit softer brush, but let's go to brush properties, change a few things again, 
shape dynamics all the way, angle jitter all the way. We can go with the round, roundness a little bit, maybe 10%. Scattering, we can do that. And uh, transfer, so transfer, opacity jitter, and make sure the pen pressure is off. So we want just like that. And now I want the opacity to turn to 20%, for example. With this, you can create really cool, some kind of mist or different type of smoke. And let's add a real life example here. So for example, we have this street and we want to add a mist here and let's create a new layer, clip to affect only this one. And now with a white color brush, maybe 10%, I can just nicely add some kind of mist layer right here and use it like that or maybe even up there, make a brush a little bit smaller and add something like like that. So you can do a lot of cool things and add layers and layers of depths and add uh, in that way add a depth to the photo and uh, smoke brush is amazing for a lot of things. So before and after you can create amazing results, especially if you have a subject in the front and add a mist behind him and separate it from the background and so on and so forth. If you're following this channel, you know, in my photo manipulation tutorials, I do a lot of uh, things with smoke brush and also the last one tutorial I create the monster using just the smoke brush so if you didn't check it out go and check it out and now I will show you how to create another amazing brush using a generative field that I have never created before and if you're wondering where to find these kind of ideas to create different brushes or how to be more creative or how to unleash your creativity I have a perfect place for you and that's a Skillshare by the way Skillshare is a sponsor for today's video and Skillshare is an online learning community with the thousands of classes where you can find a topic of practically anything that you're interested in and they have a lot of great lessons of creativity and how to unleash your creativity get amazing ideas and uh, be more productive and so on and so forth. Recently, I finished the course from Ali, how to organize your workflow to maximize productivity and how to be even more efficient so you can have even more time for other things. Skillshare has hundreds of career focused classes too. So traditional jobs, works are not one size fit for all. So you can learn how to design a career that fits you. Also, you can learn how to build your portfolio and get gigs you want or organic Instagram growth, create shareable content and so on and so forth. So for all that and much more, Skillshare is giving the first 1000 people who click the link down there in the description one month completely free trial so you can browse the content and learn some new skills. It doesn't hurt. Grab this opportunity, it's completely free and maybe you will learn something that will change your life or improve your current business. All right, let's go back to the new amazing brush that we will create now. Okay, let's do the same thing like last time. Select everything, Control Command A, go to Generative Fill and this time type Fractals. And again, wait for a few moments and let Photoshop surprise us with the fractals that it will fill the screen with. Okay, this is cool. One fractal, another cool fractal, another cool fractal. And we can use this to create some amazing brushes. Maybe you never thought about this before. I will generate a few more just for fun. But we can actually use this kind of fractals to create some really cool brushes for amazing usage that uh, we can do in our photo manipulation or our design, etc. So just for example, I will use probably this one. And go right here and again right click and uh, rasterize layer that's it and in order to have this as a brush we need to make it black and white so shift control u shift command u and everything that is black will be actually the brush so i want to invert it i want control or command i and i want this to be a brush so again control or command l to lower the levels and just to boost white a little bit and then bring back the blacks because I want all of this to have it. So I don't want like that. I want to have these semi-transparent parts because this makes brush even cooler. And this is nice. I will press OK and I will use a regular brush, soft brush. Like before, I will just use white color, 100% opacity. Let's zoom out of this. And I will just remove from the edges because I don't want uh, this to be noticeable later so like that I don't want this to be the edges and what we need to do is just go to edit define brush preset and name it fractal okay this is it this is the brush I will go and uh, invert this to have a black just for easier representation of what we have here and this is it. Now I will go again to the brush settings here, 
and change something. So come on, right there. Shape, I like to have uh, different variations of shapes. So I want to go that. With this, we will see. Also, we will see about the spacing. We can do a lot of with the spacing here. Also, we can add the dual brush if we want. We'll see that too. But transfer, I want this a little bit of that and angle also different. And yeah, maybe you're wondering how I can use this brush and why should I use this? Well, this is really cool. And let me show you how you can use this. So let's find a proper photo for this. Let's go and add, for example, this penguin photo. I don't know. And uh, you can you can do a lot with this brush, actually. Let's create a new layer. You can maybe make the penguin look like it's in an uh, in ice cube. So, for example, this is an ice cube, just for example. And I will use that brush that we created and use some kind of a bluish tone, maybe bright bluish tone like that. And oh, I want to make it smaller too big. So see, maybe like some kind of ice texture, see, and also you can you can make these kind of uh, selections go select transform selection and just just make like a nice cube just for fun. and have really cool ice cube. This is too perfect square in, in order to make it even better. I would make some imperfections, etc. But I want to show you how you can really easily use the, this brush to freeze something. Or for example, you can use this kind of photo and fill it completely with this type of uh, effect. So just fill it. See? And now use a mask and just with the black brush, you can just go and no, just go around and you have really cool effects. So this is before, this is after you can use it for that. Also, you can go and create a new fractal brush. Let me show you really quickly right here. So hide this one and uh, select all and go with fractal. So for example, something like this or this and let's let's try. Let's make a copy of this one and then let's go with these two and let's see what we will get. So. I will go with rasterize both of these and turn it into black and white and see how it looks. What will be as a brush. This one looks interesting if I go like that. Also cool. So not sure, maybe like this or maybe like this. Let's go with that. Control Command L. Just play, experiment. You can you can have a lot of cool effects with, with these kind of brushes. See. This will be also cool. And let's go with this one, and maybe inverted. Yeah, also, also this one is really cool. So let's let's see. Um, I want white. Yeah, this this could be really, really cool. So let's try this one and just see these edges. I just want these edges to be soft. So I just don't want this to go all the way. So 100% opacity brush and just just remove from from the edges, nothing else. And go with the edit, define brush preset, fractal zero two, and let's go to our image. So for example, this one, let's hide this, and let's create a new layer, make the brush smaller. And uh, I want to go to brush properties, and go with the size, go with the angle, go with the transfer a little bit more like that. And also I didn't show you but I will show you now. Let's see how this will be. This is really cool. So we can make something like really cool frozen thing. And we can go with the dual brush. Dual brush is amazing because you can add a different brush here. And let me show you if I add a mask. See, you have different effect here like you're painting on the frozen frozen glass and you know with a finger painting on frozen glass i have something like like this also really really cool you can just make like heart or something let's see like that see the effect and you can really nicely add a lot of things also you can change different brush different effects here 
see this oh yeah but i want to have it i want to have it here so this can also be cool with dual brush and you can experiment and do a lot of things using these brushes and you can see it looks like really nice really nice frost effect right here and you can create a lot of different cool brushes using generative fill you can create some really cool particle brushes dust brushes just try experiment and let me know down there in the comments what do you think about this usage of generative fill and what kind of brushes did you manage to create using it also make sure to check out skillshare it's free so maybe uh, get some classes on how to boost your creativity and uh, use that to create some cool brushes i don't know there are a lot of cool ways to experiment and uh, if you want to know more about generative fill check out this video right here see you next week in the next one episode bye bye